people. I have been procrastinating. Oh shit, I broke a nail. Great, right when I'm about to do my hair. Let's try this again. Hi people. So I am going to make another genie locks slash yarn braids slash yarn locks slash yarn wraps slash blah, blah, blah. Um, but this time I think I'm going to take you through more of the steps. I'm not going to sit and like record while I do stuff. But I usually put a protective style over my locks about every three months. But as you guys know, I was in Jamaica last month. And if you're new, go check out my other channel. It's Deja Doesn't A Grill. Um, but I'm missing my braids. Like, it looks so cute. And I did just regular box braids. But I colored my locks black temporarily. And I'm not doing that again. So, I use a black t-shirt to dry my hair. Um... So, what I'm going to do, actually, this is probably the only thing I use for moisture, really, is the lock and twist gel. And I'm just going to use a little bit a little bit throughout just the base. Cause I don't want too much of a build up because I'm going to leave these in for a month because I might be going somewhere. It's a surprise, but I'll know more next week. But with yarn braids, everybody's like, oh, you have to moisturize before you put the yarn in because the yarn kind of sucks all the moisture out of your hair. So I have these handy dandy little oils and these I get at the beauty supply place. There's vitamin E, jojoba oil, and I have one more. But what I'm going to do is saturate the locks with jojoba oil. Not too much on the roots, but more, I'm more concerned about the locks themselves. And I would use the black castor oil, but lately I've been having problems with smell. And the Jamaican black castor oil. Like, this, this stuff, like I don't know what's making my hair smell. And I think it's that or the lemongrass. So... I've actually stopped using both, but I'm really, really, I would never oil my hair this much normally. So concentrating more on just the locks. I'm probably going to use this whole tube to put in my hair. But how have you guys been? Did you miss me? Um, I've really been concentrating on the other channel only because I was in Jamaica for a month and I'm still not done uploading for that whole month. Um, right now I'm on February 5th, 6th? Well, maybe I do only have two days left to edit. I only have two or three more days left to edit for that, and then um, I can concentrate more on the other stuff. Lots of jojoba oil. But I've been watching a lot of videos on yarn braids, yarn locks, whatever. And usually I just put the yarn in and braid it all the way down, but I'm going to try and do the 
actual wraps this time because I think it looks better and it'll be thicker okay saturated so that was the jojoba oil and I used about this much what did I do with the cover? So now I'm going to use the vitamin. My hands are oily. I'm going to use the vitamin E oil. The jojoba oil has a smell to it, but vitamin E and jojoba. I would use glycerin too because glycerin um, sucks in moisture but I think the glycerin would just end up soaking into the yarn so vitamin E on my roots and jojoba oil so I love doing crazy colors especially with wraps um, but I am trying to get a new job. Don't really want a job, but <laughs> you know how that goes. So I'm going with different color browns. Well, in the store, this looked like it was my color. Now I'm like. Hmm, it's close. See, it kind of disappears. So I have brown, red, this one. And then just if I want to be a little bit crazy, a little bit. So I'm going to add that. Otherwise, I'm just going to stick with earth tones. I do have some like this that's camouflage um, so I might use that maybe 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 I'm gonna do my parts um, I'm gonna be very careful with my parting and everything like that I'm really gonna take my time with each one and it is probably I think it's seven o'clock on Tuesday and I'm hoping to be done by midnight tomorrow because <laughs> I haven't cut the yarn yet I haven't done any prep you see I'm just washing my hair now so the first part that I want to do is the front because most of the time if you guys if you ever do your own locks or own locks if you ever do your own hair you know that by the time you get to the front you're just like let me just get this shit in and get it over with so fucking done with this so the ones in the front can tend to look like you just threw that shit in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this first section that's gonna be my first part I'm gonna do that Maybe come down the line and do the edges, then I'm going to go to the back. So, I'm going to section, section this off. Probably into four. Because I'm not going to go and twist my whole head, you know, and then I'm just going to twist as I go. Oh, God. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I don't know which is the fastest way because the last time I did this was, what, two years ago, maybe? I mean, I braid my hair all the time, but the yarn braids, the last time I did it, I cut all the hair ahead of time, had it all sectioned off and looped around the chair, and I just don't have time. 
Okay, why is this style cute to me? Hold on, let me rubber band this. cute is that? You like it? So, length check. We're past the lotus flowers. And we're almost to the tail of the seahorse. Pretty much. My hair is growing fast. But yeah, this style is cute. Anyway, back to work. So I went to the grocery store earlier and got some like pretzels and cheese and some little sandwich stuff so I don't have to cook. I could just get up, throw some seafood salad on a croissant and eat that. I really don't want to take any time away from braiding. I want to try, I want to, try to get this done before tomorrow night. I hope I can. But I'm a, I'm a late night person so it's going to be easy for me to braid till 4 o'clock in the morning. You know? Okay. probably see my messy bed but I don't care I don't care well not that I don't care about you guys but you know like my little I finally got these things to like stay I mean they're still even though I braided it it's still unraveling both sides That shit is never going to do right. So I have my teeny tiny mirror that I'll use when I'm braiding in the bed. But right now I will cut some hair. And there's tons of videos on how to cut the yarn. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back, and I'll do one for you. Four. Should we do four or five? Let's try four, see what happens. I'm not going to do one right in the front anyway, so... <clears throat> Using four pieces. Flip it over. And I already twisted this lock. So I'm using, um, I crochet hats, so I have a lot of yarn. So right now, the color that's going to be inside of the wrap, I don't care about, so I'm just using any color. Ooh, I can feel all the oil. So I'm just going to braid it. I wonder if I should let it air dry like a little? I don't know. So I am braiding kind of tight, and I'm going to braid right past my lock. Wow, this isn't very much longer than my hair. I think I'm going to have to measure longer. Or I'm just going to have to go long and then cut off what I don't need. But I don't want to waste any yarn either, you know? But let's just do one since I already started. Well, 
Wow, that goes as long as my freaking hair. My hair is long. Let's add some more. Because I can't, can't do it. So I'm going to take four more pieces. I'm going to take four more. I'm going to unravel this a little bit. can't believe I cut it that short. When have I ever had that short of hair? So I'm going to kind of make a slip knot, I guess you call it. Oh my gosh. Nope, not a slip knot. That's going to be too fat. My eyes crossed. Okay, that's better. All right, so to wrap these, I'm going to try to ombre it. Let me cut the brown hair first. So this is the brown that I like. If I can find the end. <clears throat> I hate trying to find the beginning. Are these are on the outside. So I'm not using Red Heart. I am using Impeccable, impeccable. And this color is Bordeaux Claire, maybe Claret. See how helpful I am for you guys. <laughs> anyway, this is how I'm measuring. I have long arms, people. And this yarn seems a little skinnier too. And this is the yarn that I will use to wrap the outside, so I guess it's not too big of a deal how long it is, because you can always add more. But I'm going to try to ombre this hair. So I'm going to start with the black. I've seen people do four. Since I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to start with three. So I'm trying to keep all three as flat as possible. I think I'm going to have poofy roots. But 
I think I'm going to like the black roots better than going straight brown and having my hair as the dark. I don't like that look. Ooh, my arms are going to be tired. Oh my god, this is seriously going to take forever. So I'm getting close to the change of the color. Is this the color? Nope. So right now I'm going to add two brown and I'm going to drop, how do I want to do this? So I'm going to add two brown, but I'm only adding one to my wrapping. So the other two are going to stay straight down. And I probably shouldn't complicate this because this is the first time I'm doing this. But, learn as you go, right? And now I'm going to drop another black one. And pick up another brown. And I'm going to make sure to cover this little. Drop. Dang it. So I could make the black a lot shorter, actually. So now I'm going to drop this last black one and pick up the other brown. Oh, I only have two. Wait, wait, wait. This is so con confusing. I don't even know if this is going to cut off. So black, adding one brown, adding two brown, now I have all brown in here. Hold on, I didn't cover this part. And I'm doing it. Wrapping it tight, like firm, but I'm not squeezing each one or each time I pass. All right, let's see how I do if I'm not looking at it because I'm going to be in bed wrapping these. <clears throat> so I guess I have to try to do it without looking. These are going to be thick. I don't want them this thick. Or do I? Or do I? Because I only have 71 locks. And I'm also worried about how hard it's going to be once I get to the part that I didn't um, braid all the way down.
So one of these is really short, so I'm about to add in some more. So I have three more to add in. This is going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to fold it down a little bit. And I'm actually going to start wrapping above where I stopped. Oh yeah, this style, I'm keeping this in for two months because this is literally going to take forever. Alright, guess what? Some of these might end up being braids. Some of these might end up being kinky twists. I don't think I can do a whole head like this. I really... For me, because I'm a slow braider anyway, this is going to take me three days. I know it. Will it be worth it? Hell yeah! So, slowly getting down to the end. And I'm going to go till it gets skinny. Like some people s stop and the whole, the whole braid is one thickness. I don't like that. I like mine to get skinnier at the bottom. So even if I'm wrapping around just two pieces of yarn, that's fine. Because I want it to be skinny. Pointy. But yeah, I'm glad I added on more length because me with a bob like I don't know what to do with that length hair anymore plus it's like the same length as my hair so why would I even do it so this I'm gonna put inside now and I'm just gonna wrap with the two because these are still really long making sure I'm close and yes, I cut off all my nails to do this. I'm going to start over. But it only took me three months to get my nails super long. This looks good. Do I wish it was purple or pink or bright green or neon yellow? Yes. But I got to get a real job. Alright, so I'm almost at the end. I'm just going to tie a knot. And my eyes are bad, so that's why I keep looking over my glasses. What do I do with the scissors? So I'm going to cut as close to that knot as I can. You're going to want to buy at least two to three new lighters. Because you're probably going to lose one. You'll probably lose one, and then you'll still have two. I feel like I have horns. So when you first do them, they are very, very stiff. But once you spray them with a little water and it kind of works, it's like, I don't know, it's nice. But I do like this ombre. I think I'm going to do them. Especially the ones in the front, I'm going to do like this. The ones in the back, I don't care. Because they'll be covered. But I really like the ombre. 
And actually, I pr could probably go to a lighter brown at the bottom. <sighs> but that's all I'm going to show you. I know you're sad, but go enjoy your life for the next three days because I'm not going to have a life. Or actually, enjoy your life for the next two seconds because I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm only on the third one. And I already discovered a mistake that most people are doing. So everybody's like, okay, make sure all these are even when you start wrapping. But as you um, wrap it down and you want to cover them, you have four little things sticking out. So I'm going to, I've been staggering... I've been staggering them so as I'm trying to cover the very end I only have to do one at a time instead of worrying about trying to cover four at a time so and I did switch to using four strands and this one is going to be that multicolor brown Where is it? This one. But it's easy to keep the yarn flat as I wrap it. But I kind of am thinking, you know how I did the center, like the main the main braid brown. I kind of want to do it another color so it's easier to tell if I'm wrapping it solid or not. But if they do tend to unravel and I had white underneath, like, then I'd have white poking out and that would bother me. So, I don't know what to do. Oh, this is pretty. I like this multicolor a lot. So now I'm getting to the ones I'm covering and it's just a lot easier to cover each one. Look at that, that's cute. Okay, back to work. This is all I got done last night. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I started on the back. I'm not even timing this, so don't even ask me how long it took, cause I'll t I'll time one, and I'll tell you how long it takes me to do one. And then we'll figure it out from there. It's the next day. Around the same time. I only have two sections done and I have three more to do. So, you guys saw the front. Now I decided to add some of this gray. And I really like it. But I am sectioning and braiding pretty tight. This better look good. So the last time I did it, um, they were all stiff like this. But as soon as I dip them in the water, it's gonna be gorgeous. Like it's like these don't even ah, they don't even move right. So I can pick them up and do this. And this one's super thick. 
but this is one of those that I combined two locks together so that one's gonna be fat no matter what <laughs> maybe I should use black to braid because I have all these little dots don't like that so two sections complete Now I'm going to work on this section tonight. And if I don't get it done tonight, I don't care. Because I don't have a job and I ain't got no work to go. <laughs> but it's like 10, a little after 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, and I recorded how long it takes me to do one. It took me almost 21 minutes just to do one and that's with having the yarn already cut so I think because it's my first time it's taking me longer you know I'm taking my time plus I'm changing the color you know at least once sometimes twice within each lock but I'm trying to make sure I you know do that gradual color change but I'm really liking this gray more than the brown. So I put one, two, I put three gray in that section. So I'm just gonna make sure no matter what that I do three gray in this section. And then the top two, I'm just gonna pretty much worry about probably black, the swirled, and red. Cause even though this brown, like, I don't know why I was so worried about matching the brown in my hair because you don't even see my hair. So I don't know why I was trying to like make sure that I match that color. But it all works out because they're all like the same hue. Look, I got spaces. I don't like these. But will I do them over? Probably not. And um, before I go on my trip, I will be doing the edges over because my edges tend to get dirty and more build up faster. Um, but it's gonna look so good. I need to do other people's hair, but this takes too long. Uh, we'd have to do it in sections, like first day I'd braid it, and then second day I'd wrap it or something. But I like it. And you can be so creative with all the colors of yarn. Like, I'm so excited. So, I think for the rest of the year, I'm going to have yarn braids. We'll see. This, we'll see. I don't know. Catch you in a minute. Okay. So I must have more hair on this side than the other side. But this is how I slept last night. I still haven't got it wet to like relax it. But I have to teach Hulu class today. So today I'm just going to braid all the edges and put it up in a ponytail all right so i'm not finished but i have some more to go so i'm gonna show you what it looks like before i dip it or get it wet it's very very stiff but i'm gonna get in the shower ow 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 and wet it a little bit because it's still really really tight Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning, and I just got done. I'm going to bed. <laughs>